why the fuck <laughs> is everybody advertising their relationships on social media? What is a two month anniversary? What is a month anniversary? <laughs> what, what the fuck is going on, guys? Now listen, there are some, uh, some people that want, you know, this is my significant other and it's cute and whatnot. But the thing is, is that, you know, six months pass and now you've got a new significant other. And, and, and you're repeating the same things. And then six months pass. And now it's my world and my world. And my my yeah, world. you've got a solar system. <laughs> you know what the thing is? It's not subtle. It's not like no. they, they play it cool. They be normal about it. It's like week two, we end with the I love you the rest of my life. Um, or they sign a lease a month in together. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I, I did that. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I didn't just do that in Joburg. I did that in America. <laughs> oh. A, a month in? So I can't talk. Oh, for the green it, card, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, you know, got to do what you got to do. No, what happened, I, I feel actually? like you don't got to do that. Did you guys just break up? Like, no, no, that, that's the whole point of the segment is you don't got to do that. People don't don't listen to it. This is a bad addiction. Guys, you got to do what you got to do, okay? So what did I was you looking at the greatest scheme. So what did you have to do? I was looking at the greater scheme of things. Which was? Turns out the greatest scheme of things was a complete fuck up. Mm. And... um. As they yeah. usually are, guys, please take note. We all make mistakes, some mistakes bigger than others. Some of us move to America for a guy. Some of us fly to London for a guy. Okay, now. <laughs> now. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Not soon, you know? No. But, uh, but why? Why? I don't what, get it, What do you think is the point? Why are you trying to show everybody your relationship? Not not you, like specifically. I'm yeah. just thinking like now, everybody's posting their relationships online, um, the hand holding, the cute stuff, the this, the that, and you guys have only been together a couple of months. Like I get it, the honeymoon phase is a real fucking thing, guys. Like we all fall head over fucking heels for people, but the problem is you look like such a clown afterwards because you're posting all these things and then next minute your Instagram's empty. There's no photos of them anymore. That's when all the guys are sliding in the DMs, you know. You start posting these self-help quotes on your fucking story. <laughs> what is mm. like, I, I'm so... so you know what the best one is? Oh, bro, like, and the you know, best quote, don't trust no hoe. Like, oh, the bro. best quote that gets posted every time is, I know what I bring to the table, so oh, I'm not afraid oh, to oh, eat alone. Oh, <laughs> and you guys brought the table together and you took it. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's like... I think there's like a few things that could be either those people are like looking for mm. validation one two the honeymoon thing you mm. honestly are you think you're so in love infatuated or sure. three you're trying to chase off the other bitches and the other guys so you're trying to show everyone like this is my property but okay. all of those things are fucked up like it's none of that is healthy 100 percent. 100 none of that is healthy because if you're trying to chase somebody off your person then you don't trust that person why are already? you with said person in your month anniversary exactly. you're already your month, your month anniversary. <laughs> please stop with the month anniversary please. yeah guys it's done now the month anniversary thing has had its time it's expired i understand when we were back on the days of mix it you know <laughs> yeah, that was a vibe i was just a talk because if you old, made right? it to a month it was a big deal <laughs> it was a dude it was a big deal you never met the you're gonna marry that girl <laughs> i think i've only made it to a month like a handful of times and like, i still never posted about that shit, guys like you also, made it I, I think it, I've made it to six weeks, maybe right. three times in my life. My okay. question is, are you not embarrassed? Like, don't you feel like a sense of shame? You so know, now we're directly you're, talking you're, to you. Yeah. Are you, are, you talk, are you talking to me? <laughs> Am I embarrassed because I... Fuck you! <laughs> but you could never, like, hit the marathon, bro. It was just sprints the whole time. <laughs> Two pump Tom. Ten pump Tom. <laughs> Thank you very much. Don't fucking underestimate me like that. No, I don't know, like... Are we talking about me still or are we talking about the subject? No. If the shoe fits, if the shoe fits. No, no, no. No, for me, I don't know, guys. It's just, it's such a thing these days. Everybody is trying to show off their relationships that they've got the sweetest person. Um, so it is for validation. Yeah, it is for validation from other people. And as soon as you start bringing other people into your relationship, I think that's where things go wrong. Because, I mean, mm. when we spoke the other day, you said like some girl came up to you and said, what happened between you and you like yeah. fuck and you like who, who are you to, you, to ask me the question? worst yeah. part of that experience was firstly i didn't know this girl mm. it was outside katie's and she comes up to me and she doesn't just say what happened she says i want an explanation never met her in my life she wants an explanation as to why me and my ex broke up so i was like 
who the fuck are you? <laughs> like, why would I explain myself to you? But that's social media. People think that if they follow you, they have the right to know what's going on. Why did this end? They think they own shares in your life. <laughs> like, for real. But at the same time, you are kind of putting them into it. If you're yeah. posting about your relationship, though. Sometimes time. I see people and I actually want to know, bro. I'm like, I actually want to know what so happened. I've been following them for like yeah. Yeah. the whole two months. I invested, <laughs> and like, invested bro. Eventually, yeah. they break up and I just want to know, like, guys, you were so cute you know what i mean thank you thank you but that's a that's a real thing though if you're inviting other people into a relationship by posting your whole thing on social media i mean there's a lot of couples that just don't post on social media and it's not because you're trying to hide the person it's just you don't want you the world to know privacy yeah privacy. you don't want the world to get involved in your shit because if you post them and what they're doing and this and that mm. and then somebody will badmouth you badmouth them to you They'll be like, I know this person. Do you know that they did that? Mm. That they did this? And it puts doubts in your mind. People are never should never be there. to see you happy. Never. No. So the minute you're yeah. involving people, you're asking for something to for go sure. wrong. That's the only experience I've ever had with it. The last guy I was with, I refused to post. And I told him from the beginning. I was like, I hope you know, you will not smell my Instagram. You're Until not going to be featured. Until there's a ring on the finger, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, maybe that. again. Like, and in the beginning, obviously, because it was all exciting to have a mm. new chick and he didn't really care. No, I don't mind. And then... Yeah, like a month in, it it started coming up. Like, why do you not post me? Are you hiding me? Oh, we've got trust issues. Hundred percent insecurities, bro. So I said, bye. But that's also the problem dating a hot chick. But you have to like, do that for your that's following. That's a real yeah. thing, though. In a way. Hey, why? You're following in a way. Who? Because I mean, the guy or the girl? as girls, like you know, like models and stuff. Okay. Like they have to seem keep available. Up, like, yeah, exactly. Yes, they that's have like, to seem available. It's part, part of your brand. brand. Yeah. It's part of your brand. Lee Cole said that. Remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He yeah. said you also doesn't post. It's a real thing. It's a real thing for guys and girls. Like. The, you're appealing to the opposite market because sure. like obviously as a guy you will have guys following you and you will have guys wanting to see what's going on but the majority of your market are going to be women either interested in you find your tree intriguing like more attractive yeah. more attractive yeah, sure. so part of your brand is being available even if it's just on instagram yeah because people people like what they like but you have to be secure in yourself to be in a relationship where your partner is available on instagram you have to know yeah. i go to bed at night next to this person i don't care what goes on on instagram but there aren't people yeah. like that anymore people I are so insecure I, I get the whole insecurity thing but i, I, no. I don't think it's there is there is <laughs> no. no 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 i don't get the whole like i'm not like saying it's okay but like i do understand a little bit from a male's point that no. if <laughs> your girl it depends how she was when you met her if she's doing all these things after you two have become like an item together and now she's posting yeah, all about her body up. and now she's switched up she's changed mm -hmm. her game like yeah i'm gonna be annoyed i'm gonna be like what the fuck is that going change on? will cause but if you if you like let's let's say somebody finds you then they want to get into a relationship they can't be upset with you because mm. of what you post you know you what, I, am, what I do 100% exactly. so you're accepting me as is you can't exactly you know. I, th I don't know I think it's just insecurity is a bitch Oaks we have like, a joint ready for us oh oh, oh. <laughs> how's that for fucking service how is that for fucking service